What's going on? Welcome to Rowan Rose Collectible Coliseum. I'm Rowan. Now today, we're bringing you our first unboxing on the group channel of a Chase figure. That's right, we have a Funko Pop Chase figure, and if you're looking at the title, you already know, you already know that we got ourselves a Chase Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, this Chase has been a little bit of a hot topic because it looks like a couple other pops mashed together, but we do have a legit Chase here. So, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna flip you around, you're gonna see what I see right here on Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. Let's check out our first Chase pop ever. Let's take a look. All right, here we are with Chase Star-Lord. Let's go ahead and put some lights on this puppy. All right. Yeah, I got some Star-Lord action. So this is actually a really nice pop. Um, I was super excited to find it. I found it at GameStop. Um, it's not very often that stuff like this happens where I find a wild chase figure. And that is actually really special and really exciting. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Now this is one that we are definitely keeping. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about um, you know, unboxing it or keeping it in the box or, or whatever. I'm, I'm not very concerned about that. I'm more excited to get our hands on a, a fresh chase. So let's go ahead and, and get this popping. We have it in a generic pop stack that I also got from GameStop. As soon as I found it, I got the pop and the stack. Go ahead and check this out. Ooh, crispy pop. Uh, you know, pop pops confuse me now because some of the boxes are, they have this waxy, shiny finish to them and other boxes are just flat and they're, they're not exciting. Uh, I, I just can never tell, you know, what, what a pop box is gonna be like upon pre-release. It's not until it's actually in my hand, I'm like, oh, this Star-Lord box is really nice, or, oh, this Batman box feels like cardboard. It is cardboard, but it shouldn't necessarily feel that way. So yeah, here is Star-Lord as soon as I can get it in frame. Uh, yes, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is uh, Marvel Pop number 198. I'm so excited for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy. You can see here that we have an unmasked Star-Lord in this picture. Here we have some of the other pops in the line. Um, there are other exclusives that have come out. This is not the only Star-Lord, and in fact, it's far from it. There's three Star-Lord, the regular Star-Lord, the Chase version, and a Toys R Us exclusive. And what somebody has noticed is that if you take the regular version and the Toys R Us exclusive and you smash them together, you get the chase. Uh, I wish I had the capability of showing you that right now or having those pops on hand. I do not have those pops on hand. I only have here Chase Star-Lord. So this is actually really cool and I'm very happy that we made this happen. Um, I'm glad that they did a Chase Star-Lord. For a long time, Chase was something that was very hard to get. I'm thinking of like old DC. I'm thinking of like horror, old horror. I'm thinking of a lot of metallics. So to see Chase take on another form is nice. It's also a little bit weird or disappointing because it, it brings Chase, the word Chase, it, it just brings the value down a little bit. And I'm glad that Funko did this for collectors for collectors who never had a chase like me, and now here we have Star-Lord. You know, it's nice that we finally get to have one. Um, but I kind of feel like one in six is, is a low ratio, and I wish it would have been a little tougher. Here's the bottom of the box. Very important, I know. All right, let's go ahead and open this puppy up. All right, nice and easy. I love that. I gotta bend these a little bit or else they get in the way a lot. And that's not what we want from our pops. All right, out comes Chase Star-Lord, unboxing a Chase Pop. I've never, never unboxed a Chase Pop, so this is actually really exciting. All right, come on, man. This is cool, actually. I really like this pop. I know you can't see it, it's kind of down there. Oh, you can't see it, never mind. What am I talking about? I like this pop. 
This one looks really good. And we're gonna hurry up and get it on a hashtag make it spin. Uh, first, let's take a really nice detailed up close look at this thing. Um, look at the helmet mold. Very nice, very clean. The red pops, the gold is metallic, the silver looks shiny. The hair looks flat and messy, kind of like his does. Getting a little Age Ultron in here with this, uh, with this uh, mask. And I, there we go. I tilted it a little too much. Okay, let's tilt it a little more. There we go. Straight ahead. Uh, here we have Star-Lord with his blasters. Let's look at his shirt real quick. What is happening here with the shirt? We have some pins. Right here we have some necklaces. We have something that I cannot read. I, I'm pretty sure we will have more explanation in the movie. What does this say? What does it say? Is it like a map of galaxies? I really cannot make out what that says. Um, I'm sure all of these things will have significance in the movie. I just don't know what they are now. Star-Lord's jacket looks great. I don't know if this is the same red leather jacket, but that's definitely 80s. That's definitely retro. Here's some hair showing through the bottom of the helmet. The hair on the top looks really nice. You know, I thought I was only going to like this pop because it was a chase, and I was like, you know what, it's just, it's going to be whatever. This is a really cool pop. Star-Lord looks really nice, and I'm happy that I have it. Let's go ahead and hashtag make it spin so we can get a good look at it. It's very top heavy. This this head is very heavy. And you know what? It's squishier than regular heads. You can see the give in the plastic right there. Or the vinyl. Let's take a closer look at these, these weapons that he has. I don't get to see a whole lot of that. The detail in there is really fine. Wow. The detail in the weapon is really nice. The pants have wrinkles in the appropriate places. They're kind of like bunched up over there. The boots look really nice. They're black, but they have lots of detail. Stitching along the side. The leather jacket has these like vents on it. This is really nice. What do you think? All right, it stands up to the bobble test. The helmet is really sharp. That is super nice! Oh my gosh! I just got so excited for this movie. I was already excited. Alright, and I know that you're, you, you probably can't see it from, from this angle. I need to tilt you up just a little bit. Perfect. All right, here we have Chase Star-Lord. I like this pop a lot more than I thought that I was. I really want to look less at the stand and more at the pop. There we go. And he doesn't look like he's centered at all. That looks a little better. All right, so what do you think of Chase Star-Lord? This is a fantastic pop. I love the sculpt of the helmet. Um, the box has that nice waxy finish. I know that that's very trivial. Like that's the last thing we're thinking about is the box. But you know what? This is like the first Chase pop I've ever unboxed. So I think I reserve the right to be a little picky here. I love that the box has that waxy feel to it. I'm just saying, you did something really nice, Funko. I'm not trying to criticize you. You did good. You did good. Um, I like this Chase Star-Lord quite a bit. It makes me want to go out and get the other Star-Lords. I know that this isn't super important, but that's the insert. So yeah, Chase Star-Lord. Man, that's a cool pop. Um, the helmet is not done justice on camera. I'm looking at it on the camera, and I'm looking at it in real life. The shine on the helmet, the metallic on the helmet, the gold, the red, this looks really nice. Um, even if you can't snag the Chase version, this particular pop, go get the Toys R Us version, because the Toys R Us version 
I think the body is doing something different, but the head is the same. So the common version is the pop that's pictured on the box behind you. So the common version is basically this pop that you see with a Star-Lord unmasked. So here we have a masked two-gun Star-Lord. Now we just need to get that Star-Lord unmasked and then the Toys R Us one, we can make ourselves another chase. Or I'll do a video showing you, I guess, how that would be done. Toys R Us around me doesn't get any good exclusives. We didn't get the Power Ranger Legacy figures. We didn't get uh, the Marvel Legends series Groot with the Baby Groot and then the Dancing Groot. Uh, or the, the planter Groot, planted Groot. Um, my Toys R Us actually misses out on quite a bit of exclusives, which is why I don't really pop hunt there anymore. And really, I don't buy figures or Pokemon cards from Toys R Us either because I noticed that here in Colorado, um, yes, that's where I'm at, I'm in Colorado, uh, Denver. Welcome to Denver. Um, what I noticed about Toys R Us here is that Pokemon cards are like a whole dollar more at Toys R Us than they are at Walmart and then they'll go on sale at Toys R Us if you buy two, and it still ends up being more than if you bought them at Walmart. So I really don't trust Toys R Us for much. Um, Jeffrey Giraffe hasn't done much for me lately, so I try not to do my shopping there. But we are gonna have to get our hands on that Toys R Us exclusive Star-Lord. So I can show you that the helmet is the same, but the body's doing something different. I'm gonna to have to do my research on that. I love this pop. I'm gonna give this pop a nine out of 10. The only thing that would make this 10 out of 10 is if there wasn't some way that you could Frankenstein your way to a chase. Because essentially that's kind of what they tease is like, now you're not gonna get this sticker, but what you can do is mash these pops together, which I guess that's fine. I'm like not really sure how I feel about the, the possibility of this being ripped off by somebody and sold as a chase. I mean, the, the chase is worth between like 40 and 50. So if you think about it, if they have to buy two of these pops and one of them's an exclusive, it's like $11 plus like $12. So that right there is $23. And to ship it is like $10, between seven and $10. Let's call it $7. That's $30 right there, so you really, I mean, I guess they're not making a ton of money on it, but it's still kind of shady to say, hey, let's Frankenstein our way to some money. Don't worry, this is not a Frankenstein pop. This is a Star-Lord Chase from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Look at that bobble. It's kind of creepy, let's do a real bobble, there, boom. So what do you think? I know what I think, but what do you think? Peter Quill, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, as well as countless other Marvel endeavors. What do you think? We're gonna hashtag make it spin to ride this thing out, but I think that just about wraps it up right here in Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. So like, comment, subscribe, recommend some friends to the page. This is a family-friendly show, so show your kids, show your friends' kids. Show whoever. Anybody can watch and participate, comment, view. It's all for you. Right here on Roman Rose Collectible Coliseum. Peace, love, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I enjoy you guys so much. Thank you for watching me, and as always, you rock, and I'll see you next time.